Okay, let's move on because we have a lot to talk about today. Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Juichi Yamagiwa, and he is best known as, uh, uh, I guess, uh, well, he'll tell you what he's best known for. He's a primate ecologist. He's a socio-ecologist uh, so socio of gorillas and, uh, and Japanese uh, macaques. He's a graduate professor at Kyoto University. Uh, his current work, his research focuses on uh, sympathy of gorilla and chimpanzees, and his title of his speech is Hint for Social Features of a Human Ancestor, Socio-Ecological Flexibility of Gorillas. Dr. Yamagiwa. Thank you for the introduction. It's my great honor and pleasure to be here and have a talk on my studies on gorillas. And first of all, I would like to say congratulations for 40th anniversary of Wiki Foundation. And this year, um, also the 60th anniversary of Japanese planetology, read first read by the late Kinji Imanishi as uh, Dr. Nishida talked last night. And uh, 10 years later, initiated by uh, Kinji Imanishi, after discovering uh, social structure, communication, and pre-cultural behavior of Japanese macaques, um, Japanese paleontologists started to study on African great apes. Um, that is a, a snap when Kinji Manishi visited Virunga volcanoes. He met uh, Walter Baumgauter and famous tracker Ruben. And this is uh, um, occasion Professor Itani visited uh, Jeng Do at Gombe in 1961. Um, in 1960, Professor Itani actually visited Jeng Do. Uh, he ignored a um, uh, suggestion by Luis Riki, you don't visit um, Gombe, but Itani actually visited Jeng Do. Um, The purpose of Japanese primatology to study on great apes is, as Dr. Nishida told us, to seek for the origin of human family. And uh, this is a memorial picture. Dr. Nishida and Kano uh, got a picture in 1966 after successful habituating in Mahare. And Professor Itani left Dr. Nishida at Mahare one year after he visited Mahare again. And from the boat on the Lake Tanganyika, Professor Nishida shouted to ask Nishida, did you find Famiroid, the origin of human family? And Nishida also shouted to answer, never, nothing at all. Is it correct, Professor Nishida? <laughs> I think. So um, what Professor Nish Imanishi imagined to discover the origin of human family in the society of great apes is, well, animals, if they can develop the society like human family, they need have at least four conditions. One is exogamy, second incest taboo or incest avoidance, and division of labor between sexes, and local community, which calls multi-level society. And you know, it's very unique to human family it is pro-social in the community. 
And one family can't exist by itself. Always it exists with another family. And within the family, it is not always reciprocal. It's non-reciprocal. It's also prosocial. So how they can integrate this kind of uh, empathy or behavior to the human community, it is very um, difficult to seek out. And after um, long-term studies of chimpanzees um, and um, field works on mountain gorillas, we, we have never found the origin of human family in the African great apes. And um, with uh, many discoveries on the very important social interaction and social behavior of chimpanzees, such as hunting and meat sharing and tool using behavior, um, we have developed um, the idea which Richard Rangam introduced just now, the community of chimpanzees, we can regard as original um, well, community of human being. Um, hunting is most important behavior to develop such kind of society. And you remember that in 1968, um, famous filmmaker um, Stanley Kubrick made a very important film, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's ba it is based on uh, hunting hypothesis. It's something um, different from that Richard introduced and Richard um, make. But um, I don't like to uh, discuss on this matter in detail. Maybe it should be debated. And, and also, aggression of primates has been misunderstood for understanding non-primate so so societies. And always aggression and cooperation getting together and make a uh, solution. And it is questionable how these aggression and cooperation have been incorporated in the human family. And uh, many thanks to Diane Fossey and other many researchers who dedicated to the long-term studies of mountain gorillas at the Karisoki Research Center. We understand now many things about the society of mountain gorillas. They are usually foribarous and terrestrial, low site fidelity, they have no territoriality, they usually form cohesive groups, and one or mouth male um, involved in the group, and we can find solitary males outside the group, no female solitaries, and they occasionally form all male groups, and female usually transfer between groups. Um, there are relationships, um, we can call it a kind of egalitarian. And um, infant immatures cared by silverback male, and occasionally infanticide occurred. Such things we can find. But I would like to remind you the mountain gorilla's habitat is one of the extreme of gorilla's habitat. We have now two species and four subspecies by recent classification. And the other three subspecies have uh, rarely studied by the researchers so far. Now recently, um, in Western Dwaran Gorilla Habitat and Eastern Dwaran Gorilla Habitat, there are some uh, studies are uh, ongoing. And my study sites was in Kafuji, uh, in the mountain forest of Eastern DRC, and Mukaraba, uh, one of the 